just to get started here, I got a little self-congratulatory announcement to make. <laughs> um, after 40 years of a pack of cigarettes a day habit, I've officially stopped. <laughs> That's right, uh, 40 years, one pack a day, done. It feels truly good, really good, to have finally graduated to two packs a day. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I'm sorry, honestly. Honestly, I, I, I have quit smoking. Uh, it's been, oh, let's see, it's been a little while. Um, it's been 199 days, 16 hours, and 34 seconds. But I'm not really keeping track. Uh, I've recently started uh, vaping. It's not really smoking, but it is kind of. Um, I think it's better for me. Uh, with cigarettes, I couldn't get halfway across the street before I started coughing and wheezing. With vaping, I can make it all the way across before that stuff starts. <laughs> um, I do have a real problem, though. It's affected me since I was a teen. It's my default facial expression. I call it disappointed dad face. <laughs> Sucked at parties. No one wants to hang out with you. No one wants to be seen talking to the cop. I went to school with these people every day. I saw these people every day. Made it really hard to sell my cocaine. <laughs> my expression did come in handy with my job as a cashier at the 7-Eleven, though. I'm sure it cut down on crime. Hey, you could buy that magazine? It's in a library. <laughs> I got the job at 7-Eleven because I could do math real quick in my head, you know, A plus B times tax. And back then, we didn't have those auto scanners, those barcode readers, none of that. The coolest thing you could do on a computer was type 80085 and show the display to your friends. <laughs> Spells boobs, boobs, boobs. <laughs> At 7-Eleven, the corporation wanted to make coffee a big seller. So we had to brew a fresh pot every hour. It still tasted old at all times. <laughs> a secret? 7-Eleven coffee tastes bad. It's made in a 7-Eleven. <laughs> the good news is I was able to strip the paint off my car and it only took two pots. <laughs> um, I read a lot of nutrition books as a teenager because I was chunky. I was, I was kind of husky, you know. I was, uh, all right, I was fat, okay, I was fat. So I read a lot of calorie and calorie burning books, diet books. And in one of them, it said from each orgasm, you can burn 100 calories per time, per time. <laughs> and I thought something was wrong because there's no way as a 13-year-old boy I was eating in excess of 3,000 calories a day. <laughs> so, so I went back and I reread it, and it said an orgasm from the act of sex burns 100 calories. Otherwise, it's only five, five. So I committed myself to the effort. I was gonna be thin by Christmas. In, in every relationship I've had that's lasted for more than a month, the woman has always posed a question. Are you a serial killer? Well, except for the current one. So you know she's a keeper. I don't, I don't understand why they would think that, much less ask it. I mean, sure, I only sleep four hours a day. I tend to get up and walk around randomly at night. I watch horror movies. I like detective shows. I enjoy them. I like to analyze the criminal's actions, see how the cops respond. Sometimes I take notes. I think I got it. I'm Dennis, not a serial killer. Dennis Cruz, everybody!